Hi, welcome to Veda Day 12. Today I'm going to talk about soap. Um, I just realized that the kids have not been in these videos much. It's tough. They're kind of wild <laughs> to like have any in-depth conversation. Um, I think we need some more training in that area, especially like when I'm on the phone interrupting with adult conversation. It's getting a little difficult, so we need to. I need to train them a little bit better to be quiet when uh, things like that are happening. I guess, you know, I don't talk on the phone that much, and um, my husband and I try to talk a lot. I mean, <laughs> we try to, so I mean, we really should start working on that. But anyway, hopefully we'll get the kids in the next videos coming up, especially Luther's birthday's coming up, so I'll give you some shots of him. But anyway. Today I want to talk about soap, um, specifically triclosan. It is a yucky ingredient that's in every single soap. And I started thinking a while ago I wanted to avoid triclosan for myself because it's there are studies that show that it can alter hormones, like hormone function. And so I was thinking for me, because I'm having issues in that area, that I should avoid it. But Typically, if I want to do something for myself and it's only me, I don't I don't make that change because it seems like a waste if it's only for one person in the family. Um, and I didn't think it would, it would affect the boys as much with, uh, with hormones, with them. Um, but then I read an article saying that triclosan can increase the risk of allergies in kids. And so I decided, okay, this is dumb. I should just switch everyone over to Dr. Bronner's Castile soap. Um, I've been kind of on the fence about it, just didn't know how to get it into every, all the soap dispensers in our house and into the shower, and I just was lazy and didn't want to do it. Uh, but then once I read the article on the allergies, I just decided to switch everyone over. I mean, of course they're going to be exposed to trickle sand everywhere else, and that's fine, but if we can just minimize it at our own home, I think that would be good. Um, and especially this stuff is like not even expensive, so might as well do it. So what I'm talking about is this uh, Dr. Bronner's Magic Soaps. It's a Castile soap. It has organic coconut oil, potassium hydroxide, olive oil, um, hemp oil. I mean just lots of oils, lots of good stuff. It's totally safe. It's great. Um, it's very thin. I don't know if you can see how thin it is. This bottle, I don't know, I bought this like months ago, like six months ago or more, it lasts forever, and I'll show you why. Um, finally, I figured out a great soap dispenser to put it in, and I love it. It is the, well first I should tell you, if you have like any type of foam soap dispenser like from Bath and Body Works, that'll be fine too, but those are kind of small and you have to like refill them, so I looked on Amazon for a bigger one, and this is the Cuse Pro, Cuse Pro foam soap dispenser, I believe. And what you do is you fill the Dr. Bronner's up just to like this line. There's a little line there if you can see it, and then the rest is water, and kind of mix it up a little bit, and then it comes out um, as totally foamy soap. Let me show you. Uh, these are our wipes, so good to put in there. Okay, just comes out foam. Isn't it great? I love it. I actually put some tea tree oil, like a couple drops in there too, to make it smell like really good and give it some antiviral and antibiotic type properties too. It is so fabulous. I love this dispenser. Oh my goodness. Love it, love it, love it. So you don't have to refill it as much. It is like kind of expensive. It's $15 on Amazon. So I got two of them. I might get another, but I think not having to refill it as often will just be great. And um, having the safer soap in the house, I think, is wonderful. So this is what we do now with Dr. Bronner's. And the soap is great. And I love it. And that, that is today's Veda on soap. I hope you thought it was interesting. I do. <laughs>